to get started on our headlight replacement, we're gonna come right up along the inside fender well here. You need to remove all the mounting hardware coming down along here. Remove your two push clips right there. Down under here, there should be two bolts. And then you'll have the same on the driver's side. Ours is missing over here, so we'll show you on the other side. These in the center, ours are missing. Now let's do the same on the other side. Now we're gonna remove the wiring for the fog lamps. Just go ahead and pull that tab, do the same on the other side of it. Do the same to the other side of the car. Up along the top, let's remove all of our mounting bolts across the front here. Now we're gonna remove this right here using a Torx bit. Do the same to the other side. Now we can continue on by removing our front bumper cover. With the bumper cover out of the way, let's continue on by removing our mounting bolts. You'll have a nut right here, another one up top, and then another one right here. Remove all three. Now we can grab onto this. We're gonna lift up like that, slide this away. Okay, now we can take a look at the back. Let's go ahead and remove our bulbs. As you remove them, just take a peek. If it looks like the filament's damaged or you see it looks black, you're gonna have to replace that bulb. If it looks good, just set it aside and continue on. There it is, friends. Now it's gonna be time to install our brand new headlamp assembly. Something I wanna show you along the back is this area right here. This is gonna be how you align your headlights. Now with that said, let's continue on to putting our bulbs back into this headlamp assembly. Now we can bring this up and start resting it where it needs to be. Now let's put on our mounting hardware. Snug them up. Now let's get this back on here. And bring it up. I'll bring this area up and over this. Same on the other side. Put these in together. Now let's start in those upper pitons here and then we'll put in our upper bolts as well. Let's do the same to the other. Now let's line up the rest of the bumper cover. You want to make sure you have this area coming over this, but underneath the headlight. So I'm just going to bring it right up. Now we'll come along here. I'm going to slide this in. Give it a couple loving bonks. Now we'll do the same to the other side, and then we'll start putting in all of our screws. Now we're just going to move along to putting in all of our bolts along our fender well. Connect in both of your fog lights. Put in your push pin, and then of course any other bolts that are supposed to be holding this up. Just go ahead and turn on your headlights, make sure everything works, and when it comes time to align it, come down straight through here. This is going to be a general tutorial on how to aim your brand new TRQ headlamp assemblies. Okay, so looking at your brand new TRQ headlamp assembly, you're going to see where your low beam is, and you'll see a little dot right in the center, and that is the axis point, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to mark that with an erasable marker, just so it's easier to see. Next, what we need to do is measure from the level ground up to this point and take note of that measurement. Now we're just gonna pull the car up to our wall. On our vehicle, we remember that the measurement was 28 inches for our access point. Your vehicle may be different, but that's where I'm gonna put this tape, just above that 28 inches. We'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so let's just back the vehicle up, straight back 25 feet from the wall. And now that we moved our vehicle 25 feet back from the wall, we're gonna start with our measurement here that's where the headlamp center is. We're gonna go down four inches on the driver's side. On the passenger side, we have our line here. What we need to do is go down two inches. To adjust the driver's side, we're gonna cover our passenger side headlamp. If you look at the back side of your headlamp assembly, you're gonna see something that looks like this. This is the adjustment. Some of these headlight assemblies have one, two, or even more of them, but you should at least have one. This is how we're gonna adjust the headlight beam.
Now we're going to lower the top part of the beam down to just below this line. When you turn the adjustment to the right, it brings the beam up. And if you turn it to the left, it'll bring the headlight beam down. And this is this way on most vehicles. Let's continue on to doing the passenger side. All right, we properly aligned our TRQ headlamp assemblies. Okay, and on the quality TRQ headlamps for a pickup truck, the procedure is going to be the same. You're going to find your center dot, mark it, and then you'll measure from the level ground up to your dot. So once your headlamps are properly adjusted, it'll be time to adjust your fog lamps. You'll notice on the driver's side, the focal point is all the way at the bottom right now. I would like to bring it up so it meets up with approximately the bottom of the focal point of the headlight. Some fog lamps have an adjuster, others don't. The ones that do have an adjuster, you would just turn the adjustment to the left or to the right to adjust the beam up and down to where it needs to be. Now with your TRQ headlamps and fog lamps properly aligned, you can drive down the road safely.